Welcome to the third video in the series Excel for Stock Market, where we publish 30 different Excel templates and explain them in 30 videos in 30 days. These templates use Microsoft's um, stocks data type in Excel, and you get that from any of the Microsoft 365 subscription plans or the free Excel for the web product. And I will provide the links to both of those in the description below. So you can actually check it out if you already don't have this uh, in your Excel. In this video, we're gonna see this Forex currency chart. And um, this is something that you can use to look at the history of the Forex rates for different currency pairs. And I, in this video specifically, I'll talk about the features of this template, uh, an overview of kind of how the template is built and also uh, how you can customize this to for your own currencies and flags or the countries. Before we get started, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please do so and um, spread the message. If you like the content, please share this video with your friends. So in terms of the functionality of the template, there is a lot of similarity with the one that we covered earlier um, about the stock price chart, but we there are some changes. So I'm gonna talk about first how the template works. You just type it in, um, in, in terms of the currency pair, it's a little bit different. So for example, I can type in USD, EUR, so USD for US dollars, EUR for Euro, and I hit enter. And now it actually says one US dollar is worth 0.8439 Euro, uh, Euro as of now. And then the, the time as of now is displayed here. And as we have talked about in the previous videos, the time, uh, automatically what's pulled in is, you know, the UTC, but you can do an offset of the UTC. I've done minus seven. That's because in, I'm in the Pacific time zone. Whatever your um, UTC offset is, you can type that in. So it becomes the time that um, will represent um, your time zone. So the in terms of the input, we are entering the pair of currency. So USD to um, euro and then I can you know do for example USD to Japanese yen so USD JPY and now it says one USD is worth 108 um, Japanese yen and you see the name of the currency pair you see the price you see how much it's changed um, and all of that and then in terms of the um, dynamic nature of the chart I think you can do the things that we have saw in the previous video, I can do year to date and I can show me the year to date. I can do six months. I can do even up to five years of price changes and all of that dynamic. I can also do weekly. So instead of daily, I want to see the weekly data or even monthly. Um, so this would be, you know, for example, you see March 2016, April, May. So a data point every month. So very, very interactive and dynamic. So I'm gonna go back to year to date and let it stay there. The, a couple of things that we have done differently from the stock price chart that we saw earlier was that we have added a text function here, which is, um, you know, um, before I go into this, the actual um, concept of development behind the scenes. So let me just show you unhide. I can have a help sheet. And if you, uh, if you watched the previous video, you remember that we pull in the stock history using the stock history function, and then we move that into a table so it's easy to manipulate. And we removed all these other columns that we calculated in the previous video because we don't need them anymore. And um, we have simplified that because we don't have the minimum and the maximum data points and all that. So from a development perspective, a lot of the things that we saw in the previous video carry over here, except a couple of things. One is this little piece here where I say one USD is worth this much. So it's it's a little bit descriptive so you can understand what that number 108.6 means, right? So that's that's a very simple formula that I added. And the other thing I, I made, which is a little bit more work, is the uh, flags that you can see. Uh, as we zoom in here, you can see that the flags are getting displayed in terms of whatever the currency. So if I change it to USD Australian dollar, let's say for example, now you see that you saw that this changed in the flag as well. And this um, is being done using a different technique. Now, 
in terms of the final section of this video where I want to explain how you can add your own um, currency and the flag, um, that will be the final part of the video where we will unhide the flags sheet. And I'll tell you the steps you need to do to just, you know, add your own uh, flag. Um, I have done the, the eight or so um, countries so far currencies so far but if i want to add for example a new one i'll give you the steps here so let's say for example i want to do indian rupees and i type in ina these actually don't matter that much what you type in here actually doesn't matter but this is for our reference and the main thing here is to insert a, a flag here so i'm going to go ahead and do insert picture from this device and i have all my flags so i'm going to go and find india here i'm going to insert and it inserts in a large scale so i'm going to go ahead and do this so that it fits within that cell so you can see that it's kind of fitting within that cell i don't want it to okay so it, it fits there and now the important part here is to select that cell behind and then click here and name it as inr this is the key part because you want the name of the cell to be matching your currency code. So INR, so I, I made that cell as INR, and you can see that um, you can change all these flags also by change picture to a new, um, uh, new image from your own computer. So this is nothing but just images that I've added to all these different um, flags. So now that we actually added the name and the flag, now it's time to check out the chart sheet to whether, whether it actually comes through correctly. And you can see that if you enter USD INR, it'll come through. So let me again demonstrate USD AUD, will go to US dollar to Australian dollar. And then if I do USD INR, it'll change to USD to Indian rupees. Now, this is how the flag got updated instantly as soon as you actually added the flag. Remember the key message here is you need to name the cell, you need to name the cell the same as any currency. If you're adding another currency, ABC, no problem, put your flag here, name the cell as ABC. So that is the key part. Everything else is already set up for you. Just add it so that you can have the flag for any other currencies as well. I just didn't have the time because we're trying to do 30 videos in 30 days. I just didn't have the time to do all of those um, uh, different currencies and the different flags. I apologize, but uh, hopefully this simple step will help you to add your own flag as you need um, and make this template more useful for you. So that is what I wanted to cover in this video. We talked about this, you know, Forex uh, rate chart. Uh, and then we talked about the, you know, the background development overview, and then specifically how you can change the flags and add new flags to the template. If you like the content, please share with your friends and also subscribe to this channel to be notified of tomorrow's video, as well as, um, you know, spread the message to anybody who will benefit from this content. Thank you very much for taking the time and watching and I will see you tomorrow.